I'm Brad Blakes. I've got the beautiful Ashley Green here. How are you? I'm good. I'm yeah. good. How are you? I love the hair. It's flowing. Like, Thank you. In the movie, you don't have like flowing, luscious hair. No, no, no. Alice is known for her pixie cut, but I'm a. I think I was having kind of identity crisis about my long hair. In the in the whole this love triangle that we're looking at between the three, how do you fit into it? I mean, you're the sort of the, the sister and the confidant to Bella, but mm -hmm. how would you explain yourself in, in this uh, love triangle sitting on the side? Um, Alice is actually in love with Jacob, Ooh. and I'm kidding. Jesus, I was going <laughs> to say, I didn't pick a... I'm like, I'm a terrible cage of love stories. I didn't yeah, say that. Um, Alice is, you know, she's obviously uh, more, I think, a fan of Edward because she's his sister. Mm -hmm. um, but Alice is, you know, kind of the first... Uh, Colin, other than Edward, to embrace Bella, and um, she becomes best friends with her, and and kind of I think just tolerates Jacob because um, because she cares so much about Bella that she does realize how Bella feels about Jacob, and the fact that um, you know Jacob would do anything for her, and he really does care about her safety. But do you, is there a chance where you maybe get to see Jacob with his top off? Like, <laughs> um. I think everyone does. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah. everyone's going to be happy with the second movie, if right. not because of the acting and scenery, at least Jacob has. The scenery, <laughs> right. With well, that moment spot where you were, like, having a coffee, you just, uh, you know, it's a cut and you're sitting there, and you look up and there's uh, there's Taylor walking around with, you know, in skimpy clothes and stuff, and you're like, what the heck has this kid done? Now, all yeah. the guys, I feel like, walk around without their shirts off. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm just like, all the, all the werewolves never have clothes on. Ever. Right. So they're just naked. It's, the, a hard, the it's a hard job for me. Right. It's, it is a hard job for you. Well done. Now, uh, you know, being the sister of uh, Edward Cullen, that's a, a pretty big responsibility, really. And you have to, do you think you have to guide him, as uh, guide him through his journey? Um, I wouldn't say guide, but I think, you know, she's definitely um, there to kind of, you know, banter back and forth. But I think they have kind of a special relationship because she can see the future and he can read minds. And so it's kind of a fun um, dynamic because we can kind of talk to each other without even having to speak to each other. Um, but I think, you know, Alice is kind of just, she loves Edward and the rest of her family to death. So she's kind of um, always going to be that shoulder to lean on in that positive factor. If you were just walking down the street, the normal beautiful girl you are, mm -hmm. and you had a choice of between a wolf man or a vampire, which one would you really want to kiss? I would probably go with vampires. Really? Yeah. You love vampires? I do love vampires. What turns you on about vampires then? Um, I just... <laughs> maybe it's because I play a vampire and we refer to these werewolves as dogs. <laughs> yeah. um, it's but a bit no, mean. <laughs> I didn't write it. Uh, no, it's... I think there's this kind of... Uh, they're sexy and they're mysterious and um, they're kind of almost unbreakable and untouchable. Um, and it's it's really intriguing. Well, it's a pleasure to sit here in front of you. Did you read my mind at all? Did, yeah. What, what was in there? <laughs> I can't say that on TV. Oh, sick I'm stuff. Jeez. <laughs> oh, all right.